Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to have a look at how to link a customs declaration that the general public can create autonomously to an international mail identifier, which we sometimes also refer to as an S10 barcode. The general public can create declarations autonomously, also referred to as anonymous declaration, in two possible ways, either using the kiosk module of CDS or using the customs declaration Android mobile application. Each of the two methods will be linked in the description below. The member of the general public will be issued a tampering number that will help the postal staff at the counter to simply retrieve this declaration data without having to perform any manual data capture at the counter. This is what we're going to cover today. Once the member of the general public arrives to the counter, the counter staff will simply have to log into CDS and then go to any one of those two screens. So either the screen called Validate Anonymous Declaration for Unidentified Packet or Validate Anonymous Declaration for Identified Mail. So we're going to choose today the screen that deals with Identified Mail. And in this screen, you'll see that there's only two fields to capture. First of all, you need to capture the S10 barcode. And then you need to capture the anonymous ID that the member of the general public will give to the counter staff. Once both of those IDs are captured, you simply press store and you get a message confirming that the anonymous declaration with such ID has been successfully validated in CDS. Now, if you do want to make any changes or simply verify that the anonymous declaration has been successfully retrieved, you can go to the following screen search declaration this is an optional step and then search for the declaration that you've simply linked a minute ago and there it is if you do want to make any change to the declaration simply press select or if you simply want to verify what the customer has captured through the kiosk or through the uh, customs declarations android app Alternatively, if you want to verify the customs declaration that the customer has previously captured before storing it into CDS, a slightly better way to proceed is to retrieve the anonymous declaration from within the screen called Create Declaration for Outbound Item at Post. So this is what we're going to do now. You first supply the item identifier, the S10. Then you would press this button Fill from Anonymous Declaration and you'd capture the anonymous declaration ID press find and if the anonymous declaration ID is valid you'll see that all the details captured by the customer are loaded onto the screen for you to correct. So the advantage of this technique is that you get to correct any mistake before actually pressing the final store button. So either you press the button store or you press the button store and print CN23 in case the customer hasn't got a printer at home and you want to print the declaration on paper for him. Now, when you do so, you'll see the list of prohibition and restriction for the destination country on screen for you to perform any checks and then you can decide whether or not to continue. Now, the fact that the demonstration used the front end of the CDS system at the counter does not necessarily mean that it is the only method to link anonymous declarations to an S10. Indeed, you can also use your own counter automation software and make a call into the CDS API as we're going to cover now. So here you see a free software that I'm using to make uh, web services calls into the CDS API. That call will be made by your counter automation software, but in my case, I want to make it very visual. So I'm using this particular software in which you'll see the argument that I'm making to place the web service API. Uh, when you do place the call, please do not forget to enable the WSA addressing and then the address to those two checkboxes. Then you supply the security token that you'll find inside of CDS. This is located at the Manage Organization Preferences screen right here. This is the security token. If you don't have any, simply press new and don't forget to store that new security token by pressing the store button down at the bottom of the page. Now, in my case, I'll simply go ahead and copy that security token, paste it into my web service call, and now supply the temporary number, as well as the S10 and the user code. Once this call has been written, simply submit the call to CDS, and then you can verify again 
from within CDS that this call has been successfully placed by going into the search declaration screen once again. Type your new declaration ID and there it is. So once again, I can see the detail that my member of the general public has captured. There are two methods to place web services calls within CDS. You can either use the SOAP methodology or you can use the REST methodology and I'll provide the data in the description below. You have now successfully linked an anonymous declaration with an S10 using the CDS frontend and the CDS APIs. Thanks for watching.